In this video, we're going to cover some vocab words that go over key features of graphs. And the list of vocab words will be uh, intercepts, end behavior, increasing and decreasing intervals. So let's go ahead and start off with the intercepts. And the x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis, which is represented by this red line right here. So in this case, we have an x-intercept of negative 3, 0, and also 2, 0. Y-intercepts are really similar, OK? Um, that's when the graph crosses the y-axis. And the y-axis is represented by this yellow line right here. So in this case, we have a y-intercept of 0, comma, negative 6. Now, besides seeing all the intercepts on the graph, you could also see them on a table. Now, the x-intercepts on the table are identifiable, is be identifiable because that's when the y-values are 0, because that's where the graph is crossing over the x-axis here. So we have negative 3 and then 2. In the same manner, the, uh, the y-intercept will be represented where the x is 0, okay, and that's when the graph is crossing through that y-axis. End behavior is the description of the vertical values, often the y values. So that means that we want to figure out what's happening to those as we go to our left and as we go to the right, or as x approaches negative infinity or as x approaches positive infinity. All right, now getting into it, we could write down as x approaches negative infinity, remember that arrow is just another symbol for the word approaches. What is our y value doing? So as we go to our left here, our y values are increasing. So we can say that f of x is approaching positive infinity. Now remember that our f of x is referring to the y values. So we went to our left. Now we got to figure out what's happening as we move to the right. So as x values increase towards positive infinity, or as they approach positive infinity, what's happening to our y's? And as we, as we go to our right, you can see that the y values are going up. And they're going towards positive infinity. So we can say as the graph moves right, the y values increase. All right, now here's another example where our parabola is flipped over and we're opening downwards. But we do the same stuff. As x approaches negative infinity, what's happening to our y values? And in this case, they're going downwards. So f of x approaches negative infinity. And we can say as the graph moves left, the y values decrease. So now we want to go to our right. So as x approaches positive infinity, what's happening to our y values? And as you can see, they're decreasing. So we'd say f of x approaches negative infinity. In other words, as the graph moves to the right, the y values decrease. Now let's check out some increasing and decreasing intervals. So we have our original graph here. And we want to show where our interval of increasing happens. So uh, you can see right here where that red line was drawn, as we go from our left to the right, we're increasing. So that stops at about an x value of negative 2 here. So we can say that the y values are increasing from negative infinity to x equals negative 2. And you could write that in interval, to, interval notation like this. Okay? Here's another example. Um, we have our original graph. Um, but as we go from this point, we want to show where it's decreasing. So at the start of x equals negative 2, we can see that our graph is going down. So it's decreasing. So we can say that the y values are decreasing from x equals negative 2 to positive infinity. So as we move to our left, to our right, we're going down here. But it starts at negative 2. So interval notation here would reflect that decreasing interval.